Hi, I'm Colin. I'm James. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. So it's nearly Christmas 2016 and I'm a little bit excited about it. Are you James? Me too. Yeah. And we're sat here with our lovely Christmas jumpers on. Looking yeah. like right prats. But never mind. You seem to have a bit more enthusiasm for it than me with these flashy lights. And yeah, the flashy of lights. I've just, just gone for the simple sort of reindeer. Just, uh, don't wash it. No, don't wash it because of the battery and the electronics. Yeah. yeah. Either that or get electrocuted. Yeah. Actually you won't because it's two little three volt batteries. Oh, but right. anyway, yeah. so yeah, it's flashing, it's magic. <laughs> it's flashing. It's not from Primark. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so uh, yeah, the reason we're here is because we thought we'd do a top 10 list for uh, Christmas and we thought why not do it on stocking fillers. Yep. Some great ideas coming up. Yeah. So if you're a... Uh, uh, wanting to get someone, someone, a friend who's into retro gaming, a little stock and filler, or if you've got someone who's nagging you saying, What can I get you for Christmas? and you're not sure what to tell them, take a look at this and see if you get some ideas. So, at number 10, we're starting off with socks. And uh, if you've got a relative that always buys you socks, then tell them to get you these some nice retro gaming socks. Uh, there's these uh, Sonic ones, which uh, look very colourful. Yeah, there's PlayStation versions too. And uh, these are available quite easily online. I think I've seen these on Amazon for £9.99. Next up at number 9 we have From Bedrooms to Billions, the DVD or Blu-ray. This is a great documentary on how the early games programmers made games for the Commodore 64 and Spectrum and other computers like that and brought them to market. This Christmas, give the snowman and Mary Poppins a rest and watch this instead. Yes, this is a DVD that I'm already pleased to have in my collection, but if I didn't have it, I would also be pleased to see it in my stocking this Christmas. Up next is key rings, and I'm sure everybody has a set of keys. Why not jazz up your key ring with one of these? Yeah, there's um, good ones out there. I like this PlayStation one. This is quite a nice one. There's also a PlayStation 2, and if you're into this gen, not necessarily into retro stuff, there's even a PlayStation 4. Next up at 7 is something that I have sat on my coffee table and that's these great PlayStation coasters from Numskull. The design is the same as a regular PlayStation case but much smaller and I've seen these online for about £14.99. Next up at number 6 on our great stocking fillers list is retro gaming books. Yes, there's some great retro gaming books around at the moment and we've got a selection here for you to uh, take a look at. These ones are by Bitmap Books and uh, this one's a great Mega Drive book which I've got in my collection. It's worth buying and there's also like a bit of history, there's the History of Ocean and also the Sensible Software 1986 to 1999 book. What a great read while you're sat on the loo Christmas afternoon trying to poo out your Christmas dinner. At five we've got retro gaming wallets and there's some good ones of those around at the moment as well. Here's some examples, here's a Mega Drive wallet, a uh, PlayStation 1. And even this PlayStation 1 that looks a bit more like it's made for the ladies because it looks like a purse. Now at number 4 we've got some great retro gaming t-shirts. So no longer do you have to put up with your Primark £2.50 plain t-shirts, you can get one that shows off your favourite game. This is one of my favourites, Super Mario 2. You've probably seen me wear it in a couple of our videos. And you've probably seen me wearing this cool Mega Drive t-shirt in a couple of our videos as well. Now at three, we've got something that I know is a cool gift because James gave me some of these for my birthday. It's these Nintendo Mini Classic. For those of you who don't know what these are, they are essentially an official Nintendo licensed product, like a little mini Game Boy that play an LCD game, kind of like the old Game & Watch games you used to get years ago. Now at number two we've got the yearly Retro Gamer Annual. And these are great, feature a lot of the articles from the uh, magazine of course, and just a general great read. Yeah, you gave me one of those for Christmas last year, so uh, again, I know how good a gift that can be. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's number one, and of course, you can't go wrong with a game. 
It doesn't have to be an expensive or a rare title. Uh, just pick up a game that you know they'll love. So that was our top 10 stocking fillers list and there's some pretty good stuff on there. I'd like to see some of that in my stocking this Christmas. Yeah, a bit of a variety there. Yeah, and uh, of course number one being games, obviously. Can't go wrong. No, can't beat a game. Can't get, yeah. It doesn't have to be like a new, obviously, more than top of the range game, does it? Just any game. Something that's really good that's been out in the past, you know, it's reasonable price. So, yeah, so uh, anyway, so we're also thinking, I wonder what you guys are getting for Christmas this year. What's number one on the Retro Gamers Christmas list? What have you asked Santa for? Leave yeah. a comment below because we want to hear it. I wonder how many people have put down their little mini NES classic. There's mini. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it'd be quite interesting to see what you guys are all getting for Christmas this year. So let us know in the comments. But if you don't see us again before Christmas, if you don't watch another one of our videos, we might have another one out before Christmas, I think. But if you don't see that one and we don't see you, uh, have a great Christmas. Yeah, happy Christmas, everyone. And uh, we'll probably see you in 2017. On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a kitten in a Christmas tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Scratching posts and a kitten in a Christmas tree On the third day of Christmas my true love said to me Three balls of yarn, two scratching posts and a kitten in a Christmas tree On the fourth day of Christmas my true love said to me Four litter boxes, three balls of yarn, two scratching posts and a kitten in a Christmas tree On the fifth day of Christmas my true love said to me Ho 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 